Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be designing and creating a really elegant low third animation inside Hit Film Express. We get started, we'll create a new composite shot and let's call this main or low third. You can call it whatever you want. For the duration, let's go with uh, six seconds and let's go with 19, 20, 10, 80 and 30 FPS. You can obviously go 4K a resolution as well and click on OK. Then we're going to start off by creating a new plane layer and we are going to rename this to solid and this will be our uh, plane layer with the white color so I'm going to call it solid white click on OK and then we're going to go to the transform of this layer break the link on scale and we can just scale it down independently like so so once you have that then we can create a simple animation on this so let's go to the two second create a keyframe on scale and go back to the very first frame set the x value to zero so we have a simple scale animation like this pretty linear but we can select these two keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier this will smoothen out the animation and now if you play this it'll have something like this but we can further enhance this animation by going into the value graph and we can hold the shift key on the keyboard and drag this handle all the way to the left so now your animation will speed up in the beginning and then slow down at the end. And that is exactly what we want. Then what we can do is duplicate this layer control D and we can rename this to, let's rename this to black, solid black. And we are going to go to the effects and apply a fill color effect to this. So just drag that in. And on the fill color, we can click on this color and from this window, we can select our black color. Now we can go to the transform of this solid black layer, select these two keyframes and just move them forward by about 10 frames. You can play around with different settings. I'll play this and you will have an animation like this. So you can see your white strip first and then the black one overlapping it. And that's exactly what we want. But the next thing is we'll create a new text layer and we can type in our text. So I'm going to type in my channel name and we can just position it on the left side of this lower third or of this box. Now you go to the text tab and uh, right now you can see the paragraph is set to center alignment. And what that will do is if you keep it to center alignment, then if you change the text, if you want to add more characters, or if you want to delete some characters, you can see that it will lose the positioning of that left edge. And that is because the alignment is set to the center. But if we change that, let me undo this. If we change that to left alignment, and then with the selection tool, we can just put this text on the left edge of this box. And now if we remove some characters or if we add characters, you'll see that it will not lose its position. It will stay on the left edge of this box. If you are creating low thirds templates or title templates, then make sure you use these paragraph settings over here. All right, that is looking pretty cool. Then we can rename this layer. We can call this name and we can just duplicate this, position it under our main text. And this one we are going to call, I don't know, tagline or something. With the text tool, we can change it to I'm going to type in content creator and this time we are going to change the font weight. The font that I'm using is Montserrat and I'm going to go with a regular font weight this time and I'll reduce the size as well. So something like that and again with the selection tool we can just move it up. So I'm going to keep it closer to our text and we can select these two layers and just bring them in the center. Now we just need to make sure that this text is visible only inside this shape and we are going to use our favorite effect which is set matte effect and we're going to apply it on our both of the text layers first we'll go with the main text layer let's apply a set matte on it we're going to set the source layer to solid white you can also do solid black that's completely up to you uh, let's go with solid black this time and let's set the blend to subtract and let's take a look at it we also want to click on the invert option and now if you play this animation you can see that your text will only be visible inside this black shape. Again, we're going to copy this set matte effect and we are going to paste it on the tagline text. So now we'll have the same effect on both the text layers. Now we need to create our out animation. So let's do that. We'll 
go to the solid white, copy the second keyframe and paste it at the fourth second. And we're going to copy the very first keyframe and paste it at the very end. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. Control C and Control V. So we have this opening animation and the closing animation as well. And we're going to do the same thing with the solid black as well. Go to the fourth second and just copy and paste it. Go to the end, just copy this first keyframe and paste it at the end. So we'll have an animation like this. Now we just want to make sure that the value graph is same on both of these layers. So we can just hold the shift key and just drag this handle all the way to the left and do the same thing with scale keyframe as well. So go to value graph, hold the shift key and drag this all the way to the left. We'll have an animation like this. Now all we have to do is just select this keyframe on the solid white layer, select this third keyframe and just move it forward by about 10 frames. So we get that same effect that we have at the beginning that we see the white color first and then the black color. We need the same effect for the out animation as well. And that will just make it look much better. So yeah, there you have it. Then you can just save this as a preset. I have a tutorial on how you can create presets in HitFilm. So you just have to basically publish your text layers and you can just, uh, you know, publish basically any effect that you want and you can create a template out of it. Or you can save this composite chart as a composite chart. So click on save as and you can just save it anywhere that you want. And the next time you open up HitFilm, you just have to click on import special media, click on that. And then you just have to click on composite chart. And then you just have to search for the same composite chart that you just created. I'm going to go to the edit timeline and let's just bring this video in. And we are going to bring in our animation as well. Just put this at the top. So you can see our animation is pretty big. So we can easily go to the controls tab and we can change the scale down to 50% and we can place it in the bottom left corner where low thirds are supposed to be positioned. So maybe somewhere over here. Scale to fit and let's play this. This is how our animation look. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then please make sure you leak. If it was, then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.